and my focus. <laughs> hey guys, it's Raynell. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me on this makeup look. So if you want to see that video, please keep watching. Let's begin. So I'm just going to put some of this on just to fill in some of the lines. Minimize my pores before I put on foundation. I normally wear makeup like three to four times a week, so not every day. But um, today, since I wanted to film quite a bit of videos, I wanted to put a little bit of makeup so I look a little decent for the camera. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking some Makeup Forever foundation. And I'm just going to use that on my face. My hair back. And then I just have one of these sponges here. I'm just going to wet it just a little. And use that to blend out my foundation. Next, I'm going to take some concealer. This is by Alima Pure. This is Mineral Makeup. It's actually too dark for me, but I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to use it up. And then um, I'll get another concealer. So this, I just use my hands to warm up the product. And I'll apply it with my fingers. And this is nice because it has a little mirror. And it is a little dark on me, so um, please excuse. I'm going to try to lighten that up with powder. take the same sponge just use the other side blend that out and I'll take that up to my eyelids just to help prime it before I put eyeshadow I'm not a makeup expert this is just my current makeup routine and what I'm doing it changes all the time but this is what I feel like doing today and now I'm gonna take some um, Ben Nye banana powder I'm gonna put some into the cap so I'm gonna go heavy under the eye to kind of bake okay so hopefully that helped to brighten the eye since the concealer was too dark Take some up here, just to highlight. And then next I'm just going to take this e.l.f. powder just to um, lock in the foundation to help it last longer. And I'm just going to kind of pat it in there. Just so it doesn't move around too much. Okay, that's good. Next, I'm just going to take the Smashbox Shape Matters palette and I'm going to contour and bronze. And as you can see, I use this palette a lot. <laughs> I already hit pan on the um, contour and the bronzer. So I'm just going to go with the contour first just to give my cheeks some definition. Put some down on my neck because... I am currently pregnant, so my face has been getting a lot bigger. <laughs> just gonna contour just a little into the sides of my nose. I'm just gonna take the bronzer to warm up my face a little more. Hopefully, help slim <laughs> my face a little some blush. This is the Wet n Wild um, in pearlescent pink. I had this for like a couple of years. I just hit pan on that. I was pretty excited about that. So this is the only blush I have. I'm just going to keep it until I use it up and then I'll buy a new one. Okay, now we're going to go into eyeshadow. I've been into my brown tones lately. So I'm just going to take the same palette. I'm actually going to take the eyebrow color. I've been liking this color right here. It's kind of like a 
like a medium brown gray oh look it looks like i almost hit pan i actually might hit pan today oh my god i did can you see it yay i love when i hit pan i really feel like i get my money's worth from the products and then bring it down onto my lid whoa i put way too much it's okay i can get that blended out just gonna take this eco tools brush and I'll probably add a little bit of shimmer um, let's see I kind of want to do this copper tone here in the Carly Bible palette And then we're just going to go with the dark brown and then maybe a little bit of black just to give my outer eye, my outer V, a little bit more definition. And then I'm just doing the circly motions and a little bit of windshield just to get on the outer V. And then going back again with the crease brush just to blend everything in all together. Right at the crease, that way there's no harsh lines. Just give it a little bit of a smokier look. For the brows, I'm going to take this darker brown here and use that on my eyebrows. Oh, this is so heavy. I need the other mirror. That palette is so bulky. I'm still trying to grow my eyebrows thicker. I used to have really thick eyebrows and in intermediate before I over pluck them. I'm going to take the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to go with the gold. So I'm going to take some of this gold shade here. It's really pretty and highlight my cheekbones. And then I'm going to go with this pinkier highlight and I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose and then this one right here in my inner eye decks. just taking whatever is left to highlight the brows and maybe just a little on my cupid's bow just with whatever product is on the brush just blend everything all out that way that we don't have any harsh lines i need to do my lips before i finish up my eyes my lips just feel really dry all good lips lip balms from the natural store just moisturize my lips oh it feels better and then for eyes i'm gonna be doing a liquid eyeliner i rarely ever do a liquid eyeliner i always go with like a pencil but um i did find this one at the drugstore and it's actually pretty good it's the wet and wild mega liner right here I have to go really slow whenever I use it just because I'm not that good with liquid <laughs> I'm still learning I just finished lining my eyes I didn't do a wing or anything I just did a basic eyeliner 
I'm gonna let that dry a little while I'm waiting for the eyeliner to dry I'm just gonna go to my lips I'm just gonna take this NYX in coffee Mac in velvet teddy Me and lipstick? Okay. Ooh, you need lipstick? <laughs> you like lipstick? Okay, and then we're almost done. I just need to put mascara and we're all done. Remo and Scandal Eyes. This is kind of a clumpy mascara, so it's not my favorite, even though I like clumpy mascara. But I just need to use it up and then I can go back and find another mascara but this is just the one I'm using right now oh now I know why I don't really like it because the wand is so big and it makes a mess <laughs> so I kind of have to go a little slow usually I can put my mascara on pretty fast but with this one I have to go pretty slow Alright, so that is the finished look. I just need to let that mascara dry. And uh, that's my, my makeup look for today. Pretty natural and simple. Anyways, thanks for getting ready with me. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.